Minneapolis Parks and Recreation Board will hold a special meeting tonight in an effort to end a week long worker strike. And we know today marks five days since hundreds of workers walked off the job. Our Pauline Lee joins us live from the Minneapolis Sculpture Garden with a look ahead. Pauline, you're at the Sculpture Garden. Explain why you're at the Sculpture Garden. That's a good question because union leaders, ever since they went on strike, they picked a different location every single day to pick it at. And this morning, it just so happens to be that it will take place here at the Sculpture Garden. They'll be here from 10 until 4 this afternoon ahead of tonight's special meeting. So a little bit more background just to catch you up to speed on what they're fighting for. Union workers say they want to be treated fairly. They ask, they're asking for better wages, more protections on the job, among other things. Now, the Parks Board has said it presented its last, best and final offer on July 1st which included a 10 and a quarter percent raise, uh, wage increase over three years, plus two market adjustments for 13 positions. A union leader say they deserve more, adding workers' pay has slipped by 10 percent in the last three years because of inflation alone. Now, the strike has already impacted uh, parts of Minneapolis. In fact, if you remember, union workers say some impacts that you might notice is delayed trash pickup. So in the parking lot behind me, you can still see trash scattered all over the place. But if you take a look over here, union workers also said there could be a delay in storm cleanup removal. We've got some down tree limbs over there as well. And that's not it. That's not just all that we're seeing here. We've got concert cancellations and so much more. So we're going to talk more about it coming up in about half an hour or so. A lot of people paying close attention who want to go to parks to figure out how this is going to right. impact them. So, Pauline, thank you. We appreciate that report. One of the big headlines we are continuing to follow this morning is the Minnesota Orchestra, which canceled its concert for tonight at the Lake Harriet Bandshell. This is because of the ongoing park worker strike. Now, hundreds of union members walked off the job last Thursday. They're demanding better pay and benefits. Pauline Lee joining us live this morning from the Minneapolis Sculpture Garden. And you're there this morning, Pauline, for a different reason. Yeah, so today is day five and union workers have picked a different park each day of the strike. So they'll be here today at the Sculpture Garden picketing from 10 until 4 this afternoon. Now, they had warned us last week of some of the impacts that you might see in Minneapolis. That includes delayed trash pickup. That also includes delays to storm damage cleanup. As you can see, some pretty big tree limbs down out just outside of the Sculpture Gardens here. But park board leaders say today is probably going to be the day where they really kind of get a better handle of the impact packs simply because the 4th of July holiday is now behind us and things are supposed to get back to normal in terms of summer upkeep of our parks and our lawns and our golf courses and all of that. So uh, in addition to the Minnesota Orchestra concert being canceled, both Minneapolis Pops concerts that were scheduled for this past Saturday and Sunday, those were also canceled. And then union members also posted these pictures to social media showing flooded paths not being closed off because of the strike. Now, board leaders said early last week that they came up with a plan to adjust uh, priorities and staffing locations in an effort to minimize impacts to the public. But you still can see some of those impacts now visible five days into this strike. So the Parks Board is having a special meeting tonight at five o'clock and we'll of course be following that closely. We'll bring you updates tonight on the news at six and ten as well as online at WCCO.com guys. All right. A lot of people looking forward to those updates. Pauline, thank you.